Welcome back to Pinto Consulting's video lessons. In this lesson, we'll go over the blog module. The blog allows you, the administrator, to begin a blog for all of your website users to view and to comment on. Maybe you want to create a thread that says, what do you think of our products? And they can throw out different comments about what experiences they've had. We are going to start by adding a blog to our sample site. Now, it's normally a fairly lengthy process because, as you see, it actually pulls up five different things for you to run through. But you don't need all of them to show, and you don't need to set them all up. Now, on this one, you'll see that we actually already have a thread begun. When you first start your blog, it will ask for a baseline description, what it is that you're hoping to achieve. When you begin the blog, you're going to set up your main features. This will be the display title for your blog. You're going to create a title, a very brief description of what your intentions are. You can choose to make it public or not. This is important. Do you want your full name actually out there or do you simply want your username out there? If you want all of your users to be able to comment on it, make sure that you check the Allow Users to Post Comments, Track Back option, you want to syndicate the blog, check your time zone and your date format. A child blog you can add a couple of different basic threads to. And then you're going to Update, and that's actually going to be this section here that says author sample created on I've created this blog. Then you actually need to add a second comment on it. You need to actually begin the thread. To add a thread, you want to add a blog entry. You want to give it a title. You can give it a short summary, but you don't need to. And then you need to make sure that you've got something in the basic blog text for people to be able to look at, publish it, allow users to comment on this entry, and update. Once you've done that, you'll get a blog like this one that people will be able to comment on. You can edit your entry, All of the rest of these are so that you can add new blog entries. If you want to be the only one adding blogs, you might want to set this so that only administrators can set this page and edit this page, or even view it. You'll see that when I'm doing that, it's gone red all around the edges of that. That means that now only you, the administrator, can see new blog, which makes it so that you're the only one that can add a new blog. Now your customers can still comment on blogs that you have up, but you don't necessarily want them starting their own blogs. This will be a search. This is search so that they can run through the archive, so they can just check on it monthly. And then have some fun with it. You can delete entries, you can edit them, and the comments really can be very helpful from your customers. I hope that this lesson has been helpful, and as with any other modules, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us at Pinto Consulting.